See all these flowers, folks? Look at this. She bought them and I paid for them. But that's okay, I don't mind. <laughs> it's, uh, this is uh, <clears throat> Saturday. I'm not good on preaching on Sunday, you know, because I think I'm part, um, you know, what do they call it, other religious thing. I just want you folks to know that no matter what happens out there, if you're married, and you think your partner is getting nutty over a period of years, don't worry about it. Because it's just normal. It's just, just normal. See, I try to do things to help my surrogate mother here now, who is now, <laughs> now she's gone back because her, her family is, you know, pretty much grown and they're not here anymore, but See, I'm still here. They're not little kids anymore. Well, that's... They haven't been little kids for 50 years. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Now you need to have a little kid in your life. <laughs> <laughs> I try to do something nice for her, you know. She's, well, you got to clean the dishes, you know. And go, well, okay, I'll clean them. you got to clean the toilet. I clean it every day now, you know. I, I guess... <laughs> Well, if I have one dish, now this is, this is basically scared the crap out of her. So yesterday I had the dish, I was, you know, eating out of corned beef and hash, which you brought down here, which was god awful. So I, you know, I'm tired, I don't feel like doing it. Well, if I stick it in the sink, you know what's going to happen, right? The cockroaches are going to eat it. But if I put it in the refrigerator, <laughs> Da, 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 da. They have to fight for it to get in the refrigerator. A little tougher to get in the refrigerator, they ain't in cockroaches, yes. So, it <laughs> opens the door and she goes, ah! What the? I was trying to save money, trying to keep the cockroach population down, trying to do so all So he's now putting dirty dishes in the refrigerator. I did it one time, okay, one time. <laughs> you get chastised for this. <laughs> it's, that's like the... Oh. <laughs> I didn't feel like washing the dishes, he said. What, there was one dish, I didn't feel like... It had cheese on it too, you know. It means I gotta scrub around and get all that crap off of there. And then uh, goes down into the sink trap and then it, uh, you know, clogs up the sink. And so your friends, on, uh, you were telling them that why does he take and throw the stuff into the toilet rather than into the sink? Because it clogs up the sink, the toilet. The dishwater. Where did right. that? A whole dishwater tub full of dishwater, he's throwing it down this toilet bowl. Yeah, but there's all kinds of leftover. And that's what caused me to see red in the toilet bowl and believe, since I'm his doctor, <laughs> he's saving Medicare, the price of a real doctor, so now I'm the only one here to detect whether he's going into emergency and needs help. I see. Well, we in the psychiatric and this <laughs> profession say this is transference. Now you are thinking that you are the doctor and I am the patient when everybody knows I am an MD. Okay. She, on the other <laughs> hand, has been a patient for how many years now? So let's see, now she's transferred it over to me. Which I don't mind, I don't like the job in the first place. Wasn't that exciting? But for one dish in the refrigerator, I have to be chastised. Now I'm putting garbage in the refrigerator. Now it was puzzling. <laughs> An empty, very dirty dish. I was trying to 
I was trying to save the planet, all right? I thought about it in two ways. One was that I would try to keep the cockroach population down, and otherwise I wouldn't have to use all that water, scrubbing and watering, you know, because uh, I'm saving water. All Isn't right? that pitiful? What's so pitiful? let's see. He's now putting dirty dishes in the refrigerator to I keep from having to wash them that night. And he is also using me as his doctor, so he won't have to bother to go. And since I'm not a registered doctor, I tend to panic when there's nothing to panic over. I see red in a toilet bowl. I assume the worst. And even though he looked healthy, he wasn't falling on the floor. <laughs> oh, nothing like that. <laughs> For all of you freaks out there, yeah, that's one of my favorite jokes from about 50 years ago when polio was, you know, still, uh, you know, around. <laughs> the teacher is asking the class, she says, now, all of you students that didn't have your polio shots, would you raise your hands, please? <laughs> yeah. well, I thought it was funny. <laughs> the Joker. Yes, actually, we were talking about that the other day. I think when I saw my brother die at the age of like four, Leukemia and blood's coming out of his nose, and, and I guess blood scares people. Don't, blood does not scare me. If it's my own, then I'm a little scared, you know. But you know, yeah, you know, yeah, blood, you know. What a big deal. Have we got this well, straightened out on the toilet thing? Uh, yes, but you have not told what a thoughtful person I am. He oh, told me he has put off doing his laundry now for weeks. Why, he told me, because he couldn't carry the soap home. <laughs> I have a walker. I say that. Oh, it got too heavy. He couldn't, he couldn't carry well, everything that he Well, I have certain priorities had. to carry home that are just as heavy. Some of them are heavier, some are ice cream, soda. Soda. And, and, um, bottles, of bottles, bottles. So... Guess what Thoughtful Me did? Yes. Since I have now graduated to a walker, I can put all my stuff in the walker, heavy or not, and I can ride the fast transit, I can wheel it on. So I bought him a big pick bottle of laundry soap. You know, especially the kind you like. Tied. It's the only kind that works with his stuff. What are you talking about? Because <laughs> you sweat that, you know. I, I don't sweat anymore. I, I gave it up. Didn't like sweating. I don't sweat anymore. <laughs> I just don't do it. Now, as long as you're going to make singing arrows, tell them where you got the money from to buy that. From him. Mm, there you go. And I owed him ten dollars, so I thought, why not buy him his laundry soap? Why not give me the ten dollars? <laughs> he wanted. He preferred to have ten dollars, so yeah. he didn't have to do his laundry. But not yes. me. I was thinking ahead yes. to his laundry. That's right. But you ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna have to do it, right? <laughs> Yeah, he's hoping yeah. I'll do it. Who bought me the flowers that I paid for? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm such a nice guy, I can hardly mm -hmm. stand myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, he, that's his own fault for giving me a $20 bill well, to go to just, Farmer's Market. He was not going to get like any back. It's going out of your stomach there, you know? But he also got these flowers and he got some laundry, I so... Know, I know, I, I really... Appreciate that. Now, if I can just get somebody to come in and clean my apartment and keep my toilet clean and my. Uh... By the Listen, way, in case anybody knows. Cleaning ladies are when, touchy. When, when you start cleaning and up. He insults people without them 
him, he, you know, he just insults them right and left. No bidding lady is going to stick with him. Wait a minute. Because you're going to say something insulting to her. I and she's insult going to take you off. right and left. And that's well, why you... Because I understand. I understand what it does to the brain. Your diet does to the brain. So I'm forgiving. I say, well, let's see. It's not him. It's the drink. Ah, uh, that's what it is. So I'm one of the very few that can tolerate this guy. And you're one of the very few. <laughs> Actually, you're in the majority of nobody cleans my apartment except me, I remember. Remember the good old days when you say, well, I'm going to go in there and clean your bathroom. And I said, you don't have to do that. And I said, ooh, I better stand back. She wants to go in and clean the bathroom. I said, never argue with he the woman met me. when she wants to clean the bathroom. He and met then I said, I think I'll clean your kitchen too while I'm at it. Remember those good old days when you used to back in the 70s? When you were in the 70s and when you hit 80, you kind of like everything went. But I'll tell you the real reason why I'm with him is because I'm a very impatient, uh, aggressive Ooh, person. Kidding. Yes. And uh, I take a very aggressive man. Now, this man is a very aggressive in keeping a woman. He call her. He will not let her alone. He will give her enough attention that she won't be able to leave him, even though, my God, he's hardly even... He's barely alive. I know, it's amazing, isn't but, it? But the aggressive I am really nature of the man is still astounding. That I know. He can actually have the nerve to call up a woman, keep her in prison. I know. Like he kept me. Yeah, that's right. For nothing, no other reason that he's more aggressive than most men who have much more to offer. He has hardly anything to offer. <laughs> but, what? but you offer. would not think so when he's calling. I was wondering when you're coming down. I just got a notice in the mail that I may be eligible for eight hundred sixty-five thousand dollars for it at any two. He believes. And if you send in thirty dollars, folks. <laughs> sucker, sucker. Mm. Oh. oh, I'm I'm afraid that it's been. I'm keeping track of your time, and I think you have it. I this know is I supposed know. to be on my channel. I know, but I've had it. The key. How long? You want it? to go? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice it. Since you've had it, it it's, how did you like it? This guy. How, how did you like it since you've had it? Hmm. Well, twelve fourteen is twelve twenty seven. Oh, I'll, just, I'm going to leave it. I'll let it. him go ahead and tell me about this okay. fortune. Okay. Now she's going to sit and put this on uh, YouTube. And um, don't you want to make any uh, comments about how much you enjoyed this? Uh... Oh, yeah. Okay, turn it off. Do I have your permission? What difference would it make? No. 